My name is Tom Renacki and welcome to the top 10 things you can do to get your big online shoe order to fit a little bit smaller. So here's a situation. My wife ordered a shoe and it's a little too big. So your heels popping in and out, it just doesn't fit and you don't wanna pay all that money and wait an extra week to get a new shoe order. So I'm gonna give you 10 things you can do to get that to fit a whole lot better. So let's start with the top 10 list. Method number one is, this is the best route for winter time. Get yourself some big thick winter socks instead of flimsy little uh, dress socks. Yeah, even if you need to go two sizes, even if it's a special occasion, get yourself two shoes, two socks, three socks. This works great. I do this for winter boots all the time. My winter boots came in about one size too big, especially people in the Midwest and the North. This is a piece of cake. This method works amazingly well. So get yourself a big pair of socks, big thick winter socks, and your shoe will fit with zero problems. Method number two. So the big sock thing does not work great for everybody. So what do you do then? Here's a more practical route if your toes are too loose in the front. Everybody's got a little bit of this inside the house. Get yourself some toilet paper. Take this toilet paper, rip a little bit off the front. And if this is a slipper, for example, stuff it in the front so you can see stuffed in there we have a ton of patients who come in with this in the front of their shoe it works great this is if your toes are loose not so much for heel slipping and the midfoot but if your toes are loose stuff it in there this works great and everybody can do it almost instantly again maybe not an everyday thing but more for special occasion shoes high heels flats that kind of thing Number three everybody has an insole in a similar sized shoe so if you have a slipper right here, look at this. It has an insert in here already. So you can take that, you can stick a second one on it. Look at how thick that makes it. You're gonna fit a whole lot better. So inside one of your other running shoes, take one of the insoles and put them in. It's gonna work great. This is probably the single most effective thing you can do that actually makes sense. This can take up about a quarter to half a shoe size. You might even wanna double up too. You might wanna combine it with some of the tissue paper. There's a lot of stuff you can, uh, you can do with this, but you gain a quarter of a size, half a size, you're getting a little bit better. Number four, this is perhaps my favorite, an orthotic right here. Because I'm a biased podiatrist, get yourself an orthotic. So everybody knows you get an orthotic, you put it inside the shoe right here, that gets you up half a shoe size. Most people already buy a bigger shoe to fit their orthotic, so you might as well feel good. You might as well have your shoe fit better. So there are links below come visit our website to see what we prefer, but this doesn't have to be expensive. This is a couple bucks and you're gonna feel a whole lot better. This is probably my number one route, but that's number four in this list. Number five, this is loading up on foot pads. Foot pads are amazing and beautiful. So get yourself a pair of these. So see this coming in here, right there. Let's focus on this. This attaches to the tongue of your shoe so see that right there this is a peel pack on the bottom you simply take this and you stuff it underneath there that makes the tongue of your shoe better these are for sale at most pharmacies these are for sale online like i'm talking a couple cents or a couple bucks maybe if that's what it takes and you're loose in the midfoot get a pair of these especially if you're uh you're having bones that rub in the middle of your foot get a pair of these these work great that brings us to number six i don't have enough hands at this point because i'm holding shoes and the heel strip you'll need so see this device right here this is called a heel strip. This heel strip right here has glue on the back. You simply take this 
into the back of your heel and you put it in just like this after you remove the glue. I don't know if you can see that right there. There you go. So that fits in your heel. So if your heel is a little loose, it's slipping out. Sometimes I take one of these, two of these, you stuff them in your heel. They're called heel strips. They're less than five bucks, maybe a dollar or two. If you come to our clinic, we basically give them away because we order thousands at a time. But the heel strip works really well. Number seven, here's my last little prop right here, water. I've been reading a lot of guides online. This is not something I would do because I think that uh, the idea is ridiculous and it'll ruin your shoe. But people say, because your shoe contains cotton, especially if it's a cheaper shoe, you can put it in the washer and the dryer, it will shrink a little bit. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to do this and it ruined my shoe. So I'm not a huge fan of number seven, although some people are doing it with some success. Number eight, this is kind of cheating, but we've already shown you some stuff. You could see the water thing was kind of stupid at this point. Simply take the shoe, return it. At a certain point, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Don't worry, we're not at a good ideas yet, but this is one that makes a lot of sense. A lot of the online stores have great return policies right now, so maybe return it, but that's not why you're watching this list. Number nine, go see a cobbler. So there's a lot of people that have foot problems. So for example, your foot could be wide. You could have a bone in the middle of your foot. A lot of people have deformities and issues, or maybe you had hip surgery, knee surgery. There's cobblers that can lift up the heel and modify it. They could widen the heel, you know? So if you need a wider heel, they could open it up. They could lengthen it widthwise in the middle. All this type of stuff really helps. And number 10, go see your podiatrist. So I'm a biased guy because I'm a podiatrist, but when we see people, a lot of the times they say, I have a hard time finding a shoe, but really it's their foot that's really messed up. And there's a lot of stuff you could easily do. People don't think there's easy stuff you could do, but simply uh, adjusting something in the inserts, adjusting something in the shoe, the foot stops flattening out, stops being as wide. You stop rubbing in the middle of the foot. A lot of these issues go away. So that's me being biased, but this is where all the weird stuff comes in. If you have a weird foot, if your foot does not fit into shoes regularly, there's probably a reason. So you made it through the top 10 list. So number one, get big socks. Number two, take some tissue paper, get that into your shoes. Number three, double up on the inserts. They fit great. Number four, my personal favorite, get yourself an orthotic. Number five, I gotta look to my list, but using the foot pads, so sticking them onto the tongue, these work beautifully. Number six, so hold on, there's six. Get yourself a heel strip. The heel strip holds everything together beautifully, especially if your heel strip uh, slipping out of there. Seven is stick them in a washer and dryer. They shrink cotton about 10%, but I wouldn't do this personally. That will ruin your shoe, so you didn't hear that from me but that's number seven. Number eight is return the shoe. You've done some ridiculous stuff at this point, but return it at a certain point. Number nine, see a cobbler. There's lots of cobblers, especially in big cities. They can repair or modify your shoe. They do a great job if your foot is all jacked up. And number 10, my personal favorite, go see a podiatrist. There's lots of foot conditions out there. We can help you make your foot more normal so you don't have to mess around and get ridiculous shoes. This is Tom Bernacki, and this has been my top 10 list. Thank you for sticking around with me through this whole movie.